Okay, I do believe I have everything ready to travel about a mile up the road and set my telescope up to get some good viewing in. This is the Aperture 12 inch Dubsonian scope. We're using a Sony A7S to film with. But this old mattress, which works quite well to, per to protect it, enables me to travel up in the fields with it. And the base is just sitting here. That doesn't go nowhere. And I got all my components, cameras, a fan to bring the mirror to ambient temperature. Got my Sony A7S, a bunch of eyepieces and whatnot in there. There we go. Yeah, I just laser collimated my scope. It is lined up going in that center and it was way off. Every time I use this big Dipsonian, it's off. Okay, I'm getting her all set up. It's pretty cool though, ain't it? That laser works pretty awesome. That cooler what? That's the moon two degrees away from Venus. And we'll see if we can't uh, get some good shots in. I got my ISO turned ISO turned way down on my Sony. Turning it up right now. That's 160,000 ISO. I just want to look and see if I can see the comet. Oh my gosh, there it is. It's still here. Heck with the moon. We can get the comet to if that cloud stays away. Neil wise. Oh wow. All right, I'm gonna train it on a comet, but I'm gonna get my telescope set up. Okay, got her set up finally. All right, there's the moon. Actually, that looks pretty awesome in this uh, view. I might have to stop, take a couple pictures before we swing over to the comet. That neat or what? I'm gonna turn my ISO down. Pretty cool. Check that out. Is that cool or what? I'm going to swing over to Venus. Scope's a little too higher powered magnification to get both in at the same time. That's Venus. We're going to move over that comet real quick. There it is once again. Comet Neowise. That is pretty cool. Just can't get enough of that thing. It is definitely dimming. It's hard to see it with your unaided eye right now, but it is there. I got my ISO all the way up to 204,800 ISO on a Sony A7S in a 12 inch Dipsonian telescope in order to see this this clear. So it is definitely dimming out but it is there uh, that's in uh, deep mode with uh, 160,000 ISO if you haven't seen my other video on this I got a, another one I'll link it down below but that's pretty neat I'm gonna switch back over to the moon but I need to find out roughly where this is at This is the constellation of Pleiades, 160,000 ISO with this telescope. Let's go to Mars, just for the heck of it, see what that looks like on this scope. Okay, there's Mars, I, ISO way up. Here's with it, ISO down to 200. Going to zoom in and see if we can't see anything. This is what a nine millimeter scope on Mars. Traveling fast, ain't it? Pretty 
cool. We are gonna try Venus and then the moon before the sun comes up. Not much for features, but that is Venus with a nine millimeter and a 12 inch telescope. My scope is not um, cooled down to ambient temperature is why you're seeing this waviness. It's too bad. Tonight's goal is to get some real good shots of Jupiter with my 12 inch Apertura uh, telescope. This thing is a light bucket. Works quite well. I did some mods to it, which I'll put a separate video up on that. But I got it set up. Jupiter's out. It is supposed to be partly cloudy tonight, so I don't know. Got Jupiter and Saturn I'm going to key in on, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Right there is a beautiful shot of Jupiter with the Barlow lens. Just two power Barlow lens poked down into the scope while running prime. That's nice. And, uh, planet is lower in the horizon and it's not the most ideal conditions either. It still seems to be performing quite well. And right there is Saturn. Another nice shot of it. I'll uh, digitally zoom in here. Actually got about a 10 mile an hour wind blowing here, if not more. I'm going to uh, up my ISO. Let's see if we can see some moons around it. Yeah, pretty sure we can see the moons. That's neat. We're going to scoop back over to Jupiter before clouds come in an obscured uh, view, and we'll check the moons out on there. That's my laser pointer. It's a little bright. Turn my ISO down. Four moons. Pretty cool. I'm going to go into vivid mode. Right there is vivid mode. Jupiter. Pretty neat. I'm going to switch up possibly some eyepieces here. I'd like to try to get to a 6 millimeter just to see if I can see anything with it. It's going to be hard um, the way it is setting and 
wind and everything else, so we'll try it. Oh wow, I got a two power Barlow lens and a nine millimeter in. There's Jupiter and the moons with an ISO cranked up to 32,000. Watch this. But there's quite good. Check that out. Of course, zooming in here digitally. Okay, there's Jupiter. I'm in crop mode on Jupiter. Look at that. Pretty sweet. That is nice. I'm going to try real hard to get some pictures. I don't think they'll turn out, though. That is so neat in close. If that Jupiter was higher up, it'd be even better. Man, that's awesome. That's some good details of Jupiter. Let's try to hit Saturn. And there we are, Saturn with a 9mm 2 power Barlow. Shut my spawning scope off. That is awesome. Get cool or what? Actually, I should be able to get a little clearer shot than that. Hang on. Here we are. Beautiful. That is neat. Pretty cool. Here's Jupiter again with its four moons. I got my ISO turned up so you can't see the features, but you can see the moons then. That's pretty neat. You have to say I'm very, very impressed. You can faintly see the moon, the detail, the moon and the details of Jupiter. Is that cool or what? Yeah, other than dust on my lens that you see off and on, this is just plain wicked. It's the best I've ever seen it. And like I said, Jupiter isn't even very high in the sky. I got the Earth's atmosphere I'm contending with. And here comes Saturn again. Is that sweet or what? Wow. Alright, here comes Jupiter just with the 9mm eyepiece in. That is uh, pretty awesome. It's pretty neat. Look at that. clouds are coming now. Take another shot of this and we'll swing over to Saturn. Yeah, I got clouds moving in front of it, so that's why you're seeing that dimming and brightening. Yeah, you see the clouds passing in the front. Look at that.
Here's another shot of uh, the moons of Jupiter. And now Jupiter coming in. We got three moons there. And one holding up the rear. Well, right there is a six millimeter eyepiece. That is as far as I'd ever go. Look at that. There it is again, six millimeter. That is uh, close up. Wow. something else, isn't it? Okay, I'm not, I'm in crop mode, but I'm not digitally zooming in. Cats, quit touching the scope. Right there, crop mode. I'm not digitally zooming in, but look at that thing flying across the screen. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, here's Saturn with a 6mm with crop mode on. Not digitally zooming in at all. Wow. Picture time. Here it comes. Pretty awesome, huh? It's sweet. That's what Jupiter looks like in Prime. With no eyepiece in. I'm running deep, I think. Let me switch my mode. Huh, there's Vivid. That's pretty neat. I'm going to go in black and white, try to and crank up my ISO, try to find something other than these two uh, planets. Okay, I got something right there in the center of the screen in Prime. Not sure what it was. It's a haze. I thought that was pretty cool. Look at all the stars with this thing. ISO is at 256,000. There's a shot of Jupiter at 256,000 ISO. Pretty nice. Look how long this tail is. There's the comet. The thing is long. Wow. So neat. Shooting this through my 12 inch Dipsonian telescope. I'm going to take a couple pictures of this right here. This looks pretty cool. And then we're going to end the video.